Okay, so this is uh, my new project. It's a Chevy 350. It's actually Canadian 350. As you can tell from right there. Uh, this is supposedly from a late 80s, maybe early 90s GMC Sierra. Uh, it's not freely turning right at the moment. I'm just looking at all this stuff in here. And you can't even see the top of the bolts, barely. See, like that bolt right there. You can barely see it. You can see all those scattered along the floor. There's a whole bunch of chunks of dirt that I had to scrape off from around the bolts. I wasn't even cleaned the outside the block. It's all from the insides. You can see all of this junk too. Good news is though, it does not appear to be very rusty. You know, just surface rust from sitting. And some uh, dirt down there. That's only a little bit of rust. I'm going to uh, cork bore it out and everything. Uh, maybe put a 292 cam in it. Stroke it. So yeah. Late 80s Chevy 350. Go and get overhaul. Got it for 250 bucks, so I can't really complain. Dump another six, seven hundred dollars into it. I have a fairly decent motor. You know, six, seven hundred dollars. That won't go too far, maybe. New cam. Maybe just get the crank redone. Not necessarily get a new one. Uh, new gaskets. And uh, I found a pair of used heads. They're uh, old 80s uh, Corvette heads, aluminum. And uh, they're 120 bucks already refurbished. So that'll save me some money. Uh, anyway, new distributor. Maybe a Mallory. And uh, so on. Anyway, I'll be uh, doing update videos as I go along. I know a lot of people like this type of stuff. Yeah, this uh, was one of those trucks with all the sensors on there and everything, as you can tell from there and there. <clears throat> anyway, this just took me about an hour. Mainly of just scraping away uh, dirt and grime from the bolts. But otherwise than that, it should go pretty quickly. I need to get myself an engine stand. Uh, Sold it by accident with the, one of my other motors. Um, so I can flip this thing around, take off the bottom end, and send it away to a machine shop. It does have a slight ridge, as you can see. Uh, on this one. It's not very much at all. Cylinders are very smooth. Not scraped up at all. And a new flat top pistons, all that type of stuff. If you look around, you can get really great deals for the, everything. Anything for 350.